What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my co subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub under me, notify for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs, caps, you decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate with rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Um, there's donation on the bottom if you want to donate. And also, the personal readings are open if you want to um, uh, get a personal reading. Uh, just saying, just saying. I have a mini reading and a full reading. The uh, link's in the description box below, okay? Okay, so I received another channeling in, so I'm going to do it. I hope everybody's doing well. I do. Okay, so the channel message I received was... Um, um, I heard a, uh, someone's brother is about to have um, um, a, a many series of misfortunate events occur to, the, uh, to him. I heard he's a criminal and a thief and a crook, and he has a long history of criminal behavior. Um, I heard he's in his 40s, specifically he's in his 40s, and um, uh, uh, I heard uh, he's about to have a series of misfortunate events basically about to occur for him. Um, I heard he is going to, uh, one of them is going to be, he's going to be hit by a vehicle and then there's going to be something that's going to occur uh, karmically with an ex that's going to land him in jail. Um, this is terrible, uh, whoever this is, but it's a very criminal, it's, it's your brother or somebody you're connected to his brother. I heard he's in his 40s, has a long history of criminal behavior and history and what have you, what have you. I don't know. Somehow he's about to get hit by a vehicle. Hospitalization. Horrible injuries. Oh my God. Okay, hospitalization with horrible injuries. And something karmically is about to occur with an egg that's about to land him in jail. So not only is he about to have a horrible hospitalization relating to a motor vehicle accident with horrible injuries. Now, I don't know if he's going to be in a vehicle, the driver, the passenger, or he's about to just get hit like as a pedestrian, like Final Destination style, um, or what have you, what have you. But somehow he's about to get hit by a vehicle, whether he's in another vehicle or he's a pedestrian or whatnot, whatnot, and it's going to occur horrible injuries and something karmically is about to happen with one of his karmic exes and it's about to land him in jail. Uh, how does this resonate? I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I am. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my Lord. Spirit messages you have to plug this. Despair. Oh my God, coffin. Holy Lord. Number 32 or 19 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 32 or 19. He probably will not survive. He's going to be in critical condition, critical care. He already, he already is in horrible health. An alcoholic and a drug user. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh my Lord. Okay, so I heard he probably won't survive. He's um, already in terrible health. I heard he's an alcoholic and a drug user. And, um... He will end up in critical care. So ICU, intensive care unit, energy for anybody who doesn't know. That's really terrible. Um, I think he's going to be in despair. And not only is it, uh, I heard he might, probably won't survive. And he's probably going to end up in jail because of some kind of series of shame events. A karmic ex is about to create for him. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on one second. It's my, it's my son. Hold on a second. I'll Hello? Hey, buddy, how are you? Hey, can I call you back in like five minutes? I'm on a video. Can I call you back in five? Why not? Can you call me after the shower? And we'll only talk for a minute, okay? Okay, I love you. All right, bye. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Um, I apologize. Uh, but that was a very important phone call. Confirmation for my call. Uh, that was my son. Um, but yeah, so anyways. Um, yeah. Um, 
this is terrible. Uh, I heard he might pass away. Intensive care unit energy, critical care. So that's intensive care or medical intensive care unit. How that resonates? Um, possible death injury. If not, this can be po possible death because I heard he might not survive. Or this can be an ending to some kind of karmic past relationship as far as him going to jail. Uh, something, some kind of series of train of events the karmic ex is about to create for him. That's about to land him in jail. So this could be stopping to some something to do with his karmic ex, which might land him in jail. Stopping of a situation. Um, or a possible death. If he makes it to jail. If he's not. I mean, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. If he, um, you know, doesn't make it out of the hospital is what I'm trying to say. I mean, this really is terrible. Is it? Uh, yikes. And it's going to land him in despair. Um, whether he lands in jail, whether he land, uh, or he's in the hospital and he might not make it out. Um, holy moly. Oh, my Lord. I think it's your brother or somebody you're connected to his brother. Once he lands in the hospital, it's going to create a shitstorm across his city. A shitstorm. Someone he used to party with is a nurse at this hospital. And they are not going to abide by HIPAA. They are going to spread it out that he's in the hospital. Oh my God Almighty, this is terrible. Well, that nurse, uh, that nurse should be fired, and I'm just being for real. That nurse should be fired, whoever this is, and this hasn't happened yet. But whoever this nurse is that he used to party with, the nurse should be fired for breaking of HIPAA, and that's just the truth. And protected health. Well, I don't know if they're going to spread his protected health information or not. Um. But they're going to violate the fact that he's in the hospital. I think he wants to remain, you know, confidential. Because, you know, inmates are automatically confidential. Uh, well, he might, might. Oh, that might be what it is. He might wind up in jail and then wind up in the hospital. No, I heard he's going to get hit by a vehicle. No, no, I don't think he's going to wind up in. I don't think he's going to wind up in jail first because I heard he's going to get hit by a vehicle. You plug it in how it resonates, but probably that resonates. There's a nurse that um, works at this hospital that he's about to be admitted in. Um, it sounds like critical care or uh, like MICU or ICU. And um, he, I heard he used to party with this nurse really heavy. And the nurse is going to basically, um, now I don't know if it'll be ER nurse that he used to party with or an MICU nurse or ICU nurse. Because, you know, he'll go probably go to the ER first. Obviously, he'll go to the ER first. So it could be ER nurse. It could be a ICU nurse. Or it could be MICU nurse. Or what have you, what have you. Or even a medical floor nurse if he gets stable enough. But I heard he might not make it. So I doubt it. But how that resonates? Um, a nurse he used to party with is going to spread around that he's in the hospital. I think he wants to remain confidential and private is what I'm trying to say. Um. It, it, through any series of chain of events, it's not going to go well for this nurse, too. Because people are going to put the dots together that this nurse used to party with him. It's not going to go well for this nurse, either, because through many series of chain of events, somebody's going to put the dots together that he used to party with this nurse in this hospital. So I think another co-worker in this hospital is going to put the dots together. Holy crap. I heard he's a drug addict and an alcoholic. Um, so he has a history of alcoholism and drug addict. Um, and so 
one of these nurses used to party with him. Mm. And it sounds like it's the same nurse that's about to spread it around. Her's not going to go from the nurse either. Hopefully they get reprimanded uh, for breaking of HIPAA. And that's just the truth. But, you know, of course, I'm not hospital management or administration or anything. I don't work at a hospital. Y'all know that. I got wrongfully terminated in May of 2022. So I, I don't work in a hospital anymore. But that that's breaking a HIPAA. For real, for real. I heard it's not going to go well for the nurse either. But I think it's because they're about to connect the nurse as a partier. Or a former partier of this person. This person is very well known in their community in a criminal sense. Very well known. It's about to backfire on them and this nurse in a huge way. This nurse is very well known in the, uh, I'm sorry, not the nurse. The patient is about to be very, is very well known as a criminal in their community. Um, but it's about to not go well for them. It's about to backfire on them. Meaning uh, people are about to know that this huge ass criminal is about to be hospitalized. And the nurse that's either going to take care of him or is going to see him in the hospital is going to be connected to him in a negative sense. It can be a mask or thin nurse. But, um, yikes. That's a good, um, that's a good, uh, example of basically, um, your past catching up with you. Who you connect, who you're connected to in the past catching up with you. And that's just the truth. All right, I'm getting out of this. I love you guys. Namaste. So